Yeah, they fucking got me. I've been got. I've been got. You see, I'm coming on this bit with a smile on my face, but this shit it hurt to smile right now. Uh, Cal two. I failed, y'all. This ain't no regular fail, though. I dad was getting backdoored the whole semester by my TA, bro. I basically showed y'all me and my whole Cal 1 journey last semester. Because instead of doing assignments, I don't know what the I was thinking. I don't know what I was on, bro. I was on some nut shit. Instead of doing assignments, I was choosing to boot up and go live at 8 p.m. Knowing some shit was due at 11.59. Right? But some way, somehow, thank God, man, I passed it. If you're going into college, if you decide to go to college for whatever reason, make sure you do your research on that motherfucking professor before you show up, bro. Before you show, show up. It took me two years to learn this shit, but now I know. Now I know. For the rest of my life, I ain't walking into a single classroom if I ain't looked this bitch up on right my professor. I think you should also do Facebooks. Go through their photo gallery and everything. Take all signs, bro. I'm Like, this shit, it don't be a joke. God be telling you what to do, and we don't listen. That, that's my problem. This is how I ended up here. Uh, but yeah, her Snapchat, I just started looking for TikToks, and I like to go through Instagram comments and all that shit, bro. I picked this class out last minute, which is another thing I should be telling y'all, bro. Please do not wait till last minute to pick out your classes. You're going to be stuck with the motherfucking butt bread teachers. Okay, the teachers nobody want. It's a reason why they last, nigga. This is how I look at it from now on. It like, imagine you running, right? Y'all shoot for caps. And you fuck around and say, I bet. You get first cap, your boy over here got second cap. Everybody picking niggas up, right? It's the last two niggas that be stuck right there in the middle that you just fuck around and say, let's rock, paper, scissors for who got who. Because they both ass, bro. That's basically what it be whenever there's no teachers left. That's what it be. And to be honest with you, if that's your case, I'm going to be honest. Do not pick the teacher. Don't pick either one. Beat it, nigga. Just go go ahead, pick out three classes, and wait until next semester or wait till summertime, bro. That's the right thing that I should have did. Um, my dumb ass, bro. And I know I cheated, so it's like at the end of the day, is it my fault? Fuck no, nigga. What the fuck? Unless they got video proof of me doing it, I'm gonna keep saying I ain't do it. This shit is all jokes, laughs, and giggles. Uh, if y'all see this, if my university find this video, I ain't, I ain't cheat, but you know what I'm saying. But they saying supposedly. Supposedly, nigga, I cheated, right? Now, look, um, I feel like it's been red signs about this class since the beginning. If y'all don't know, uh, first two weeks of class, the bitch, she was on some sneaky ass shit. Look, the first two weeks of class, she was bullshitting. She, we weren't really learning nothing. We started reviewing a little bit about Cal 1, which I cheated about. So, it's like, I'm sitting in there, I'm looking at this review. None of this shit made sense to me. I felt like an airhead in that bitch. I'm looking around, trying to see if niggas understand this shit. Uh, looking at the board, YouTube, it, it, it wasn't shit that was going to save me except for cheating. I'm just being honest, nigga. Sometimes you just got to cheat. The white man cheated to get up on all of us, bro. Uh, so that's why I advocate for cheating. I will never stop. Will I do it again? Fuck yeah. Y'all got to come get me again. Uh, next time, y'all not going to get me. I done learned my lesson. I done got smarter. Now, look. I remember she waited until uh, the drop date passed, right? As soon as the drop date passed, because if you if you go to college, you know there's like a census date. Past the census date, if you drop a class, you still gonna have to pay for that help. So what she did, she purposely waited. I remember this shit. I never forget. This was the first red flag. She purposely waited until the Monday, the Monday after the census date. Man, mind you, the census date be two weeks into the semester, bro. Okay, and this a Monday, Wednesday, Friday class, 8 a.m. Long as shit. Well, it was 50 minutes, but 50 minutes at 8 a.m. is not the same thing as 50 minutes at 12 p.m. If you know what I'm saying, if you know, you fucking know, nigga, 8 a.m., 50 minutes. If you don't fall asleep and you are up the whole time, by the time it gets to like 8.21, you and that bitch like, what the fuck? This shit don't, it like, whenever you tired, in the morning time, in them classes, I swear to you, time moving 0.5 speed. Shit get slowed down. It be, it be, it be some shit in the air, nigga. That shit be evil. But look, uh, besides the point. This, this, this dumbass bitch, we walked into class, right? And she ain't even welcome us or nothing. She had all the lights turned off. She had a point, she had a PowerPoint put together about how many people fell Cal 2. 16 slides. We sitting there for the whole 50 minutes. I'm telling you, this shit woke me up. My eyes got big. I'm looking at the statistics. She talking about this the hardest class to take in college. Everybody who, this the most dropped class, the most failed class. You know, and I'm sitting in the back of the class. I'm looking around. Because everybody in that bitch, they just, nobody else was confused. I'm like, in my head, I'm like, bitch, why you ain't tell us this shit on the first day so I could have dropped this hoe? 
take it online and cheat at home, ho. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? But look, I say that to say, bro, from, from the first week, I already won fucking with the Lindsay bitch, whatever the hell her name was. And if you see this, I don't give a fuck. Fuck. You and that TA, the reason why I'm on academic probation. Now, look, the TA that backdoored me, we got some history. David. That's that lame ass nigga name. This nigga named David. We call him Mr. David, just to be respectful. Mind you, he only a year older than us. He like 21. He a junior and shit. But out of like just pure respect, I'm calling the nigga Mr. David. Like if he a teacher or some shit. Every day I'm walking up, I'm what's good with you, Mr. David? The first day I met him was like the it was it was like the second week of class. It was like on Wednesday. I'm sitting in the back of the class and it was like after class. David, his ass like he walked up to me and he told me, bro, hey bro, you be on TikTok sometimes? I think I seen your shit by Cal One last semester. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh shit, yeah, nigga, that was me. And then, you know, we dapped up, we exchanged info and all that shit. He was cool. Like, niggas be cool until it's time to rap. He he just gave me up at the end and shit, right? And the way he read it was crazy. Look, whole time, I ain't know this. But whole time, look, after we got cool, we exchanged Instagrams. I slick was sliding up on this story. Now I know no dick riding shit, but just on some like some cool shit. Cause I knew I was finna cheat. But the thing about cheating is, my nigga, you gotta, if you gonna cheat, you gotta be cool with the TAs. That way, you don't gotta try and be super sneaky around the TAs and the teachers. Nigga, it be too hard to, like, you can't sneak shit past the TA and the motherfucking teacher. Especially them motherfucking TAs. Them niggas just be roaming the room around like fucking NPCs. Walking around every single time. You look down for once. You pick your head up. You went from the front right side of the room all the way to the back left. He right next to you. Them TA niggas is different. They had, they, boy, they be teleporting. Them niggas be walking their ass off. I don't know how, but they be moving like shit, bro. So, uh, look. I get cool with the nigga, right? And I'm seeing them at different events. Mind you, he he he, he was like, he on campus. He a student, but he a student, TA, teacher's assistant. Teacher's fucking pet. What type of police ass shit is this? This is basically an officer, a mall cop, okay? I basically got backdoored by a mall cop. That's the best way to put it, right? But I'm not thinking he was on that type shit. But look, all the exams, when I was taking these hoes, bro, I wasn't checking over my shoulder. Because the teacher, she, her ass, she ain't moved. She would always be in the front of the class, right? And there would be a TA all the way up there. And then there would be one TA in the back. My nigga David. At least I thought you were my nigga until the nigga switched sides. Punk ass nigga. David, if you see this shit, bro, nigga, I swear to you, we're going to see each other again. And he probably watching this shit. He said he was following me on Twitch. I mean, not Twitch, on TikTok. So he probably, I don't know if you watch over on YouTube, but I swear to you, David, when I see you, Nigga, I don't know what we gonna do, but we gonna do something. We gonna rumble, pause, bro. I wanna, I wanna lie to the nigga, tell him I wanna slap box, and then get to punching on his ass after the first mean ass slap. I'ma get him, boy. I swear to you, I'ma trip the nigga or something at the dining hall next semester, boy. You better run. You better run, nigga. I'm coming for his ass, cause I kid you not, bro. I had an 85 up until last week, y'all. I 85 in the class in Cal two. After Cal two, all I had to do was take. I was gonna take Cal three this summer. And then I was, nah, I was going to take linear algebra this summer. And then Cal 3 in the fall. And then I'm done with math for the rest of my motherfucking life. I don't got to, fuck that shit. It's over with. Right? Nigga done fucked up the plan, bro. I'm not even taking no summer classes right now. Fuck that shit. Nigga. So, David K in the comment section. Look, check this shit out. David, when I see you, boy, I got a loogie waiting on you. I'm going to rub that motherfucker on your bald ass head. You bowling ball head ass bitch. Swear to God I hate you, man. But look, check this shit out, man. Where was we at? We was at the part where I was telling y'all about how the nigga been watching me, bro. Okay? Uh, every exam, I've been cheating my ass off. I'm going to just come out and say it. I know I said at the beginning of the video, I'm not guilty. But I am, nigga. I've been cheating like a motherfucker. That's really why they got me. Because uh, I know I did it. You know, sometimes when you know you did it, you can't even defend yourself. Nigga, I've been in the back of class cheating my ass off on everything. I don't think, to be honest with you, I can't spell the word derivative if I wanted to. Kid you not, nigga. That shit, that's some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? I'm just telling my, I'm just living my truth. Um, I don't, in my head, the way I look at cheating, at least like when it comes to shit with school, if the white man cheated to get up, okay, if he was allowed to go over to Africa, pick up them Africans, bring them over here, and breed them with babies, put them on the plantation, some inside the house, the blackest ones on the plantation, working their asses off while the white man masked, 
while master was upstairs chilling why, why is a problem when i do it that's how i look at it personally okay so look check this shit out that to the side so that's my that's my ideology for that for all the little scholars and comment section talking about yo bro you can't be cheating that's nigga shut up fuck fam like i said they got me this time. Next time, they're going to have to try harder to get me. Fuck it. I, ain't, I don't learn my lesson. Not once, not twice, not three times. Never. Uh, that's besides the point. Next time, I got to cheat smarter. But look, check this shit out. Since me and David was cool, right? We were seeing each other, like, off outside of the clubs, nigga. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, no, no. Not like that, nigga. Look, we seeing each other, like, at little events and shit like that. You know? Uh, Yeah, he was popping out. I dab him up. What's up with it, David? Ball-headed ass, nigga. Keep it pushing, nigga. Uh, but look. I got so comfortable with them that whenever the exams would come around, I would just be like, this how I act like this the table. I come to class on purpose with an oversized hoodie, a fat ass t-shirt, uh, or something every time it was an exam day. And what I would do is I have my phone like this. I'll wait till the exam start. Once the exam start, it was it's a little table. It's a little like it's like they set this shit up for me to cheat. I swear they did. Bro, it's a little table like this. That block everything. So anybody in front of you cannot see what's going on over here. Only the people to the side. So whenever class will start, every exam, I'll go sit exactly in the back left corner. Okay? And I'll cook up from back there. I'm telling you, with the key thing to cheating, you just got to make sure nobody's watching. Nobody's coming. Okay? But whenever somebody will come, then all I do is hurry up. Uh, big t-shirt. Maybe pull one of these right here. Uh, you know, give the motherfucker a good ass massage, right? Act like if you just stress. Once the TA walk by, uh, the professor shit, I'm good. But the only TA that'd be back there was just David. The professor rarely ever came back there, so David would be behind me. Now, whenever David back there, I thought me and him was locked in, nigga. So, whole time I had been cheating my ass off. I'm pulling my phone out like this, boy. I'm on TikTok. I'm scrolling. I'm texting niggas back. I'm on Instagram and everything. First mistake, man. Don't ever trust no nigga. Like, this shit just, it hurt my feelings to even tell y'all this story. But look, uh, long story short, exam one, exam two, exam three, exam four. I aced all them hoes. It got to the point where I wasn't even turning in homework no more. Because I got, bro, I'm looking at this shit. I'm like, my nigga, I'm passing the fucking class. Like, I don't give a fuck about this homework. My nigga, do you know what type of grades I was putting in on these exams? Some crazy shit, boy. I'm talking about A's, nigga. A's, A's, but why I ain't peep? And I ain't noticed this until like exam four. Every time David would be back there and he would walk behind me and see me on my phone, he'll walk back over to the other side, right? Go on his laptop and get to typing some shit out. Now, I ain't never think too much of it. Cause like I said, I thought we cool, bro. I ain't thinking nothing of it. I, I just let him do his thing, bro. It wasn't until exam four that I started noticing he only did that for me though. Like, everybody else, he'll walk behind everybody else and just keep it pushing. But once he'll walk behind me, he'll go back to the computer, get to typing his ass off about something. He was documenting something. Now, all this shit ain't start adding up into a final week, which was this week, right? My final was on Wednesday, bro. Okay? Wednesday, it was at 9 a.m. from 9. It was two hours. It was a two-hour final from 9 to 11. Bro, I already knew what the game plan was. I woke up at 5 a.m., went to the gym, got me a good ass pumping. I'm talking about I'm flexing in the mirror and everything. I'm feeling good, boy. I come back to the room. I get dressed, take a shower, obviously, get dressed, put on some new drawers. I'm bumping my Chris Brown and shit, dancing in the mirror. I go get some breakfast. Then I go to class. When I got to class, it was a weird energy in there. Someone was telling me it's a spirit that's in this room. <clears throat> it's finna rat on you, nigga. And the spirit was motherfucking David, bro. Probably said, nigga. We start off the exam. Now, look, when I walked in, usually I told you I was sitting in the far left, right? I walk in. It's a Hispanic nigga sitting all the way in the far left, knowing damn right that's my seat. That's where I sit every exam. But I'm like, fuck it. He got it. What am I going to do? Man? You know what I'm saying? Like, fuck it, bro. You got it. I walk my ass to the far right and sit my ass down on the right wing. Um, that shit was fucking up, like, my, my peripherals. Like, I couldn't really turn. My axles is, like, weird. Cause it's, I'm right-handed, left-handed. It just, it, was, it threw me off. 
It, uh, to be honest, I think David told him, go sit over there just so he could throw me off a little bit. But I don't know, man. I don't know. Look, the exam started. It was 50 questions, bro. 50 questions. We got two hours to do 50 questions. The whole class might need this two hours. Me, realistically, give me 15 minutes, bro. I'm finna cheat, fam. Uh, as soon as we get started, 50 questions, I get to cheating my ass off, bro. Uh, math way, check, all that. I'm taking photos of everything. Mm, clip it. Ah, let's go put it on Google. What that mean, Google? Give me the answer. I finished that hell within like 25 minutes. I wasn't gonna turn it in though. That's that's rule number one to cheating. If you gonna cheat, nigga, you gotta wait till everybody else turn their shit in, and then you get up and go turn your shit in. So shit, nigga, I was sitting all the way in the back right of the class, my exam on the table, just waiting for everybody to start turning their shit in. Usually, I like to wait until like five, six, seven niggas go. That way, it's five of them on the stack. So if I turn mine in, I don't even try and miss nothing, cause I know the AI gonna mess up a few times. Okay, realistically, I think I think teachers go online and they put wrong answers for certain exams on Quizlet and shit like that just to throw off the student just so they can get a question wrong. Because I kid you not, this was midterms, bro. One of my classes, I ain't going to say exactly which one it was. I didn't study for the exam. I woke up, I had the exam at 10 a.m., ain't study for nothing. I looked at the exam, boy, I'm talking about my head start thumping. Blood just start rushing all through my body. I didn't know nothing that was being asked to me on the uh, paper. So I whipped out my phone and I went on Quizlet and I thought I found the whole exam. I didn't. It was a motherfucking, bro, it was, it was a setup. It was a back door. It was a spoof. I got spoofed. They motherfucking got my ass, boy. I turned that paper in and got a 12. It wasn't nothing on there that was right. He only gave me a 12 for motherfucking getting through all the questions and putting my name on the paper. That, you know? That's the only reason why he gave me 12 points. He wrote me a message saying, I know you went on Quizlet and used that motherfucking answer key. You're not the only one. He let me retake it though, real nigga. Shout out to him. But shit, boy, they be man. I'm telling you, they be motherfucking catfishing niggas with them quizlets. Wednesday, let's go back to Wednesday. I take the exam. Twenty minutes, I finish. I'm sitting there the whole time. I'm just watching my TikTok for you page. Okay, I don't know how this shit happened before. Whatever reason, bro. My for you page ain't nothing but go meg challenges. I don't, I don't, I don't know if it's Illuminati. My shit hat. I don't, I don't know, bro. But that's my TikTok for you page. Go meg, go meg. So you know the two hour went by quick. It you it cut down quick and shit. You know whenever you looking at ass, I right, everything is times two x. So say for instance you got, it's an hour that you gotta wait somewhere. I probably watch them go meg challenges. That shit cut down from an hour to twenty five minutes. That shit it move fast, man. Uh, but yeah, fam, I'm sitting there. I'm just scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. I start seeing students turning in their assignment. One, two, three, four, five, six go by. Seven. Boom. Walk up there. I turn mine in. Right? I turn mine in. I shake the professor's hand. I say, it was nice getting to know you. And I walk by David. I said, appreciate you, bro. You be safe. Get you some beanies, nigga. Cover that motherfucker up. Bowling ball head ass nigga. Walk my ass about the classroom. Catch the bus back to the dorm. Went to bed, nigga. I'm asleep. And I'm having one of the best dreams ever. I'm at Rihanna Quill. She was like in front of the TV, showing me a little belly dance, right? Work come on, you know what I'm saying? We live word, 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 word. I'm sipping my wine and everything. She getting real, man. Look. Riri start walking up to my ass, right? She walking up. I'm finna lose it. I'm finna lose my marble. This is every black male American dream. Like, this some shit. Man, only God can bless you with this. Like, come on, man. It, it was probably one of the best dreams ever. And it felt so real, man. It was finna get real. Next thing you know, I hear a notification go off on my phone. Ding. Man, I woke up. I damn near head buddy the wall. I have been manifesting this dream for a little minute now. So, look. That's besides the point, though. I look at my phone. They say Cal 2, final exam grade posted. I say, nigga, like, this shit not worth fucking waking up for, nigga. Like, I was just with Riri. I connected my speaker, and I play, uh... You need... Needed me. Oh! That jump right there. Because y'all know, like, it, it's hard, bro, it's hard to resume a dream. I didn't did it before, I swear to you. I didn't resume the dream before. I had one. It was me and Scissor, boy. I Man, I jumped right back into it. I ain't going to tell y'all 
how, how that one ended. But boy, I'm telling you, you could do it, bro. You you just gotta focus up. So I hurried up. I put on needed me, right? I jump. I try and jump back into the dream, right? I'm dozing off, right? I'm dozing off. I'm dozing off. I get another notification. Ding. Cal two. Exam one. Grade changed. I look at that shit. It's like, huh? Nigga, grade changed. Exam one. Exam one was January. <laughs> Bitch, it's 100 degrees outside. This shit. The fuck going on here, man? I put my phone back down. Needed me back on. I'm going back to sleep. At this point, I can't even think of Riri no more. I'm thinking in my head, what the fuck going on? About three minutes go by. Needed me to end it, boy. About three minutes go by. Ding! Look at my phone. Bro, this shit said exam two. Grade changed. I start getting confused like shit. Like, nigga, why are my exam grades changing? So I say, fuck it. Let me click on exam two. I opened up exam two. That motherfucker said I had a zero on exam two. I go back, open up exam one. That motherfucker said I had a zero on exam one. Nigga, I go open up final exam. That motherfucker said I had a zero. Another notification come through. Ding. I click on the exam three. She said I had a zero again. Nigga, I'm hands on top of my head at this point. Just like this. In my head, hell yeah, I know I cheated. Nigga, but they don't know. What the fuck? So what the fuck I'm getting a zero for? I hurry up, jump up out of bed. I tell y'all, bro, I got up so quick and tried jumping out the window. Nigga, I, I forgot it was glass right there. I got fucking rejected by the glass. I hurry up, I find my drawers and shit. I be going to sleep, big t-shirt, no drawers. No socks, nothing, nigga, just big t-shirt. Sometimes I say fuck the big t-shirt. Nigga, and what, nigga, boy? To anybody that's gonna say that shit gay, man, that shit comfy. You gotta give it a try before you can knock it. The dorm ever were to burn down and I had to come out while the news was outside, even better, boy. I'm finna hit a backflip so they can get all the angles on this home, man. And I sprint all the way to the stairs, quick as shit. Run my ass down the stairs. Through the door. Into the car. I ran about three stop signs and I almost ran over a fat bitch, boy. Window was down too, no music on. She said, what the fuck, bro? I said, bitch, you can eat my dick, man. I just failed three, all of my exams, not even three, all five of them, shut up. Hurry up, got to the Dean of Students. Now I walk, I went to the Dean of Students on purpose because I knew what I had did, nigga, I'm guilty as shit. You, I'd be damned if I went to go approach the professor of my TA. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I know where I've been on. So I walk in there, I say, y'all, I need help immediately. It was like I got shot and I was at the ER, boy. I banged on the table two times, too. I said, y'all, I need help. I need help. She come out. She said, what's up? What's going on? You okay? I'm like, I need to talk to somebody right now. They just gave me zeros for all five of my exams for Cal 2. Prior to this, I had an 85 in the class. I don't know what's going on. We need to speak. Me and somebody urgently. Come on. They made me wait five minutes. Five minutes went by. I opened up Canvas. I seen a number that looked like a football number. I got up and I jumped up out my chair and I ran to the back and started banging on the dean of students' t uh, motherfucking door. Boy, I started beating on the hell. Hey, y'all come fuck with me, man. Come on. And big black security guy bust the corner, right? He come back there. He said, hey, little man, you got to chill out, bro. Come on, you got to wait. She'll be out here in a minute. Told the nigga, boy, you better watch your motherfucking mouth. He gave me a look that I didn't want to put up with. So I went back and chilled out like he said, right? So look. Uh, I'm sitting there. It was another 10 minutes until she came, right? She come outside, uh, and she said, are you okay? What's going on, right? I told her, come on, let's go to the room. I need some privacy. I'm not speaking on this in front of everybody in here. This shit is embarrassing as fuck. Let's go back there so we can look at the numbers and everything. We go back there. She tell me, pull up the grades. After I tell her what happened. Tell her, no, you're going to have to do it, okay? I got a theory in my head. I think checking your grades after an exam is equivalent Especially if you wasn't prepped for the exam. It's the equivalent of going through your girl phone, bro. It's a chance that you go through that hell and you look at it and you're not disappointed. But boy, it's also a very high likely chance that you go through there and you see something you don't want to see. 
And I don't want to see it again. I already seen it, man. I ain't doubling back. Fuck, you got me fucked up, man. Uh, and like if I caught my girl cheating on her phone, you think I'm going to pick it up and go look at it again and tell her, let me see it again? I can't believe this is real. No, nigga, no. You keep it, boy. It's over with. So with that being said, I tell him, uh, I tell her, bro, I'm not looking at it. Pull it up. I gave her my full name, my student ID. She pull it up. She say, damn, and read out my the number. It was a 32, right? She embarrassing as fuck. Football numbers. I ain't going to lie. It take a lot of pride for me. It take a lot for me as a man to come on here and tell y'all about this, right? We sitting there looking at it. Zero, 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 zero on all five exams. So she said, I right, bet the best thing I could do is call the professor and ask her what's going on first. I said, bitch, you can't just, you can't, you can't motherfucking change the grade. It was 85s and just give me a zero for the final. Fuck it. I still pass with it. See, you know what I'm saying? I'll take whatever at this point. Just fuck it. No, don't call. Don't call. I'm telling her, no. I know what's going to happen if you call. All right, what might happen? And what might happen is what did happen. She pick up the phone. She call him. And she tell my professor, hello, we have a, she said some of the lines about how she had a young man by the name of Oro sitting in her office wondering why he got all zeros for all the exams. Professor say, you know what? I have no idea. That's very odd after pulling it up. I'm doing the second half of the alphabet. The TAs are working on the first half of the alphabet. Couldn't believe my fucking ears, bro. Nigga done got me. Closed that fucking back door, bro. Nigga got my ass, boy. That nigga got me. He got me good as shit. So they called the TA over. Mr. David. Bitch ass. Ball headed ass. Man, I hate that nigga. Look, they called the TA over. He get on the phone. Dean of students say it again to him, bro. From what I remember, he told the Dean of students, and I could hear it. Like the phone was loud enough for me to hear it while it was on her ear. He told the Dean of students, I knew he had been cheating the whole semester, but I ain't want him to drop the class. Everybody got to pay for what they did, and I actually tried in this class. He can't get away with this. So he purposely waited all the way until the semester was over, put in all the grades I actually got on the exams. He said some of the exams, he was really just boosting the most, and that that wasn't even my real grade. But he just, you know what I'm saying, just for cheating, this is what he, this is how he, but this is how he wanted to get me for cheating. So he said he waited all the way to the final to put in all the zeros that I really deserve. I was in awe. That nigga got me. But one thing about it, when you get got, you got to act like you ain't get got. So I said, fuck no. No, that did, that did not happen. No, hell no. Nah. When, when did I cheat? When? You got to have evidence to throw shit like that out, man. Hell no, that ain't happen, bro. So I get defending myself. Say yeah, documentation, bro. That nigga said he had been taken down every time I cheat inside of his Google Docs. Me and the other four people that cheated in the class. He said I wasn't the only one. And he had over, what, I think he said he had over like 15 instances where I cheated. Jokes on you, bitch. I cheated way more than 15, nigga. I had my phone out way more times than 15 questions. Nigga got me. Like I said, he still can't admit to being got. I told his ass, bro, where's the proof? You know what I'm saying? So the dean said, if you have proof, and he said he had the surveillance cameras in the class, uh, either he could pull that up, and I could try and fight it, and we could try and figure it out through the school, uh, but whoever the hell is lying or whoever is, you know, telling the fraud on the other person is a chance that they get put on academic probation or kicked out of university, bro, because that's cheating, the breaking university rules, is that the third? You know, uh, so I, I told her, hold on, I told her, let me go use the restroom, okay? I got up, grabbed my phone, and I searched up how to get a CDL in 12 hours, bro. And she told me it was impossible. I went back to my dorm, packed my bags, went home, bro. They got me, man. Um, with that being said, boys and girls, if you're going to cheat on the exam, be smarter, bro. This shit, fuck. Anyways, if you made it this far, bro, I will be streaming every single day for the rest of the summer uh, and uploading insanely. If you fuck with the movement, fuck with the movement. If you don't, fuck you. Simple as that. Um, I appreciate y'all.
I'm gonna be live tomorrow. It's eleven fifty nine on Sunday right now, so it's like it wasn't no point of me booting. Y'all probably got school shit. But anyways, I'll be live tomorrow. I appreciate y'all. Leave a like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed it. Shit, send the video to your mama, your sister. Anybody that might end up enjoying it. Shit, and yeah.